snowmobiling, playing tag in the bumps, cruising through the winter scenery with friends, conquering a bigger mountain, zooming through open meadows, another mountain, another valley. What a great sport until the inevitable happens. A little too slow, a little too soft, a little too deep. Now that powerful steed is a mass of dead weight and the work begins. Hi, my name is Frank Goodbold. I'm the inventor and manufacturer of a product called Snowbuddy's Integrated Leverage System. What is a Snowbuddy? A Snowbuddy is the kind of help that most of us need when faced with a stuck snowmobile. In this bare bones box or in this cord Cordura pack, a snowmobiler can now carry the kind of help you need when faced with a buried snowmobile. Strong, lightweight, and versatile, Snowbuddy makes the hardest part of snowmobiling, lifting or moving a stuck snowmobile, possible for the average rider. The basic Snowbuddy has five components. The shovel blade and the first shaft, which when clicked together, gives you a shovel to do what digging you need to do. The shovel blade becomes the base for the jack. A second shaft clicks together to finish the stand. The jack head and cable click onto the top of the stand. And finally, the last shaft becomes the handle that pulls the cable through the snowbody ratchet, which is the component that gives it the power to be able to allow an average snowmobiler to pick up a sled easily. For a basic lift, use the shovel to clear the back of the flap and make a flat spot to set up your snow buddy. When properly set up, begin lifting. When the track is clear of the hole, push the back of the snowmobile to the side. Calvin Willard of Gooding, Idaho says, worth its weight in gold. When stuck on a steep hillside, the technique is a little different. Again, you use the shovel to clear the back of the snowmobile. Now you're going to set the snow buddy up short. You leave out the middle shaft. Set up a little behind the sled instead of right next to the bumper as usual. By pulling back on the jack head, you can slowly and under control ease the sled backwards out of the hole. When you get the sled even with the face of the hill, turning the sled around is much easier. When the track is in a hole this deep, you can't turn around without a lot of digging and lifting. Use the shovel to clear one side of the sled and then set the snow buddy up full height and you can move the back end of the sled a little uphill. This will make pulling down the front end even easier. One man on a hillside took a little over four minutes in real time. If you're on a hill that's too steep, it probably wouldn't be advisable to try to pick up the back end of the snowmobile with a jack set at full height. Simply pull down the front end of your snowmobile. If the snowmobile feels like it wants to roll over, just use the shovel to dig a flat place to drop the sled before trying to pull down the front end. With a little thought and experience, Snowbuddy will be a tremendous help in a really precarious situation. Chuck Smith of Meridian, Idaho says, Snowbuddy gives me back the freedom to roam with the confidence that I can get my snowmobile out of almost any kind of stuck. Into the gully. Oops. Maybe it'll come out. Maybe not. Bumper below your feet. Track locked into snow that grips like cement. This can be real trouble. Shovel first, then set up short, close to the sled. Now we speeded up the motion for this sequence. By pulling back on the jack head to break the sled loose, then lifting with the jack handle, one man can do the work of three without risking a back injury. After the track is out of the hole, you can kick snow under the sled to set it back down. Reset snow buddy at full height to lift the sled high enough to move it away from the hole. We developed the rope trick so snow buddy could be used as a come along. We hooked one snow buddy to a sled for a dead man and then lifted the track of the stuck snowmobile with a second snow buddy. Now we can pull the sled forward. The rope trick consists of a no knot cleat a safety pin and a short rope to hook to the top of the snow buddy to a dead man, a carabiner and a pulley, and a section of rope to hook to the sled and a long rope to hook to the snow buddy cable. 
When you need more power, you can use the pulley to set up like a snatch block. The long rope is hooked through the short rope attached to the dead man and then to the top of the snow buddy. The no knot cleat is used to take up the slack and attach the other end of the long rope to the snow buddy. Snow buddy is now a come along. Depending on the situation, the rope trick can be used in a variety of ways. Here are two snow buddies hooked up parallel for a straight pull. Here we set up as a dual snatch block for the ultimate in power. The flexibility of the system adapts to the need. We've had a lot of people ask us if Snowbuddy could be used as a stand for parking or for adjusting or for warm-up. The way Snowbuddy was originally designed, it tips over too easily to use for this purpose. So in response, we designed what we call a lift lock. It's composed of two components, a small bracket that mounts permanently to your snowmobile and a brace that goes around the shaft to hold Snowbuddy upright when you lift the track off of the ground. Now you can warm up, overnight park, or check your track tension very easily using Snowbuddy. When it's time to dig out, lift the snowmobile out of a hole, pull a sled off of a steep hill, use a come along to drag a sled out of trouble, or simply park overnight. Snowbuddy is the only tool that can do it all. Don Meredith of Reno, Nevada says, the best aftermarket product I have seen in 28 years of snowmobiling. A snowmobiler can start with a basic jack shovel combination and add accessories to suit his own individual needs. You can buy the snow buddy in the bare bones box, which is designed to mount on the belt cover of most snowmobiles. You may have to move the belt and the belt clip in order to make room for it to carry it underneath your hood. You can also get it in the Cordura pack, which carries the basic jack shovel combination, but has room to carry all of the other accessories, the rope trick, the lift lock, and extra rope if you need it. The Cordura pack is designed to carry in many different ways on the outside of a snowmobile. What are the three questions most often asked about snow buddy? Why doesn't the shovel sink all the way down in this, into the snow? Is it strong enough to pick up a heavy snowmobile loaded with snow? And how long does it take to use it? First question. The bottom of the Snow Buddy shovel blade has been sandblasted. So when this sits down on the snow, it's a lot like sticking your tongue on a cold pipe. The snow freezes to it instantly and forms a great big clump as it sits down on the snow. Then when you're picking up your snowmobile, you're picking it up slowly a little bit at a time with only the weight of the snowmobile on the Snow Buddy not both your, your weight and the weight of the snowmobile on your rubber boots sliding down through the snow. The second most asked question about Snow Buddy, is it strong enough to pick up a heavy snowmobile when it's loaded with snow? Snow Buddy is more than strong enough. We took one to an independent testing lab and had them load it to failure. When set up properly with a vertical load, it took 2,500 pounds to collapse the Snow Buddy. How much time does it take to use a snow buddy? It depends on you. Sam has practiced in the grass before going riding. If you are familiar with your snow buddy, it can take as little as 40 seconds to assemble a snow buddy and lift a sled. Getting a sled out of the snow can be done in five minutes with some practice. Most people will be 10 to 15 minutes on average. Personally, I think to focus on speed misses the point of snow buddy. Getting out safely, under control, without the risk of injury, in reasonable time is the point of Snow Buddy. Ben Faber, an aerospace engineer of Cedar Edge, Colorado, says, the thoughtful engineering, the quality of materials, and the care taken in the manufacture of Snow Buddy was immediately obvious to me. Any snowmobiler who has stood beside a stuck snowmobile looking for help knows the value of a Snow Buddy. When you consider the cost of buying, maintaining, and riding a snowmobile, a couple of hundred dollars is inexpensive lifetime insurance against losing one of those valuable days, a serious back injury, or worse, spending the night out there. Strong, lightweight, and versatile, Snow Buddy is helpful to any kind of rider. Whether you're an extreme rider or just out with the family, Snow Buddy will add a huge measure of safety and confidence to your snowmobiling experience. As the manufacturer and inventor of Snow Buddy, I am proud to offer this quality product to the snowmobiling public.